Good evening, dear ladies. Bezrat Hashem, let's bless that we will all have this this food to greet Mashiach Tzikan Bachamim Boim Bimra Biyamein Amen. Eliyahu Anavi Eliyahu Tish Biliyahu Giladi Bimra Yomushak Medabin Eliyahu Nim Zachur Latov. May we all have this food to see the building of Beit Hamikdash Hashishi Bimra Biyamein Amen. Kain Ben Rubi Shavad Netzon. Natata Kum Tarachem Tzion Keet Lachanina Kiva Moed. Hashivenu Adonai Lecha Venashu Vachadesh Amenu Kekedem. And when we all have the schut, Bezrat Hashem, to go to Eretz Yisrael on the wings of eagle, and we all have part in Eretz Yisrael. B'Shem Hashem na'aseh v'natzliach enu nitbado, Hashem s'patai tiftach ufiya giti letecha. And Bezrat Hashem, everything that we do is for kol Yisrael. This Shabbat is Shabbat Mevarchim, Rosh Chodesh Shelul, Bezrat Hashem, next week. This is Shabbat Mevarchim, but next week, Bezrat Hashem, Shabbat, and, and Yom Rishon and Sunday is Rosh Chodesh. So we have Shabbat and Rosh Chodesh, a big thing. Before Rosh Hashanah, Bezrat Hashem, Ani Ledodi Vedodi Li, I'm to my beloved and my beloved to me, Bezrat Hashem. Chodesh HaRachamim VeHaSlichot, Besiyat HaDishmei HaKtiva VeChatima Tova, Aponas, and Klal Yisrael, Bezrat Hashem, and the whole world. Uh, dear ladies, we are this Shabbat, Parashat Ekev. So, we are going to, to speak about the, the first verse in Parashat Ekev. And it's written, Vaya Ekev tishmun tamishpatim ele, ushmartem vasitem otam, veshamar Hashem elokecha lecha et abrit veta chesed, asher nishba lavotecha. So, it says that if, uh, 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 by following the, the the commandments Bezrat Hashem and by keeping them and performing them, observing them and performing them Besiyat Adishmaya, then Hashem is going to keep safeguard the treaty that He has between us, between Himself and between our forefathers, which is, and He will bestow kindness upon us and Klal Israel and the whole world. So Rashi says, Vaya Ekev Tishmeu, that Bezrat Hashem, when you listen and uh, listen and observe and perform the mitzvot, he says, what does it mean? Also the mitzvot, also the commandments that a person uh, thinks that they are, it, it's a small mitzvot. It's not a big mitzvah. This is a small mitzvah that sometimes it doesn't pay attention to it and, and doesn't fulfill it like he's supposed to do. But furthermore, it says that Rashi meant that this refers to Ikvata de Mashiach, to the generation of Mashiach. That's why it's written, Vaya Ekev, Ekev. We are the generation of Mashiach, the part of the body, because you know, the, um, it says, um, uh, it says Bazor HaKadosh, and by Hakdama Shel Azor HaKadosh, I'm going to refer to Baal Sulam. And he says like this, that why is the Zohar Kadosh? why did the Arizal say that in the time, in the, in the generation of the of uh, the generation of Mashiach, we are allowed to read from the Zohar and to study, even if we don't understand, just to read in order to do the last fixing and to bring Mashiach here. So he says, and this is also by the Arizal, Meshar Gilgulim, that he says over there that, that all of us is combined together, all of the souls of the children of Israel are one a human being, which means one soul. And this soul is divided to Rosh, Toch, Vesof, which means it's a head, head, Toch is the inner part of the, it's the body, and Sof is the end of the body. And it is divided by the ten counts of the Kabbalah, which means the first, the head, is Chokhma Bina Vedat, is an, it's wisdom, understanding, and knowing, Hashem, this is the head. And then we have Chesed, Gvura, Betif Eret. Then we have the body is Chesed, it's mercy, Gvura, which is judgment, and Tif Eret, which is glory. And then we have Netzach, Yesod, Netzach, Hod Yesod. So we have, um, Netzach is eternity or victory, Hod is um, a splendor, and then we have Yesod, which is foundation. And, with, uh, and underneath that is Malchut. Malchut is the kingdom. So we, it's divided to three parts. 
So he says a beautiful thing about it. He says, this is how all of the 6,000 years, we are now in five in the year 500, uh, 782. So the, he says, all of this is divided into three parts. The first 2,000 years is Tohu. It's, it's, the, it's called Tohu, like chaos, but this refers to the head, which means all of the souls that came from the head of the first human being and this is will refer in a few minutes we'll explain this Bezat Hashem and this refers to wisdom understanding and knowing and then the second 2000 which we which means between 2000 to 4000 so this the second part of the 2000 years because it's divided we are close to the 6000 years so the second part is parallel to mercy, judgment, and glory. And then the last, which is between 4,000 to 6,000, and we are almost at the end because we are 5,782 5, by the count, by the years that the children of Israel are counting. Because the Torah we received at 2,448. So the middle one between 2,000 to 4,000 is supposed to be 2,000 years of, of, of Torah. We received the Torah at that time. So it's 2,000 years of Torah. And the other from 4,000 to 6,000 was supposed to be the time of Mashiach. All of this time was supposed to be the time of Mashiach, but, before, but because of our deeds that we didn't listen to Hashem and we had the destruction of the first temple and the third temple and the second temple the third temple will be built we are very close to the end so by this also the souls are divided so now I'm, I'm going to refer to the Shara Gilgulim and the Arizal and first let's connect this so we see the beginning of the beginning of um, the, the verse in Parashat Ekev, the beginning of the verse, which Rashi refers to Ikvata de Meshicha to the generation before Mashiach. Vehaya is a word of happiness, which means the, the generation of Mashiach brings happiness to Hashem when they follow the way of Hashem. Even a small thing that we do is like a big thing that all of the, of, all of the previous generations that were higher souls than we are did. So Hashem has a, very, a lot of happiness and joy from everything that we do. But we look at the beginning of the sentence to the end of the sentence that Hashem vowed to our forefathers. So how is it connected? So it says, Im itchalta, the Midrash says, Im itchalta be mitzvah gmorota. Sheena nikret ha mitzvah el al al shem gomra. If you started a mitzvah, you should finish it because the mitzvah is called by the one that finished the mitzvah. It's like Moshe Rabbeinu took the coffin, the bones of Yosef HaTzadik. You remember he went to the Nile and he called Yosef to, to show himself because he said the children of Israel are going out of Egypt. You should show yourself. And the, and the, and the, Bones of Yosef Tzadik came out. The the coffin of Yosef Tzadik came out, and they took him with him. But Moshe Rabbeinu didn't take the coffin into the land of Israel and bury it in Hebron. So we know Besiat Adishmaya that that this mitzvah was called by the after the children of Israel because they finished the mitzvah. Look how beautiful it is. So the Arizal says like this: Beshara Gilgulim. And this is part of a, a of a article, a, a Torah article that wrote uh, that I found in Shvile Pinchas, Rabbi Pinchas Friedman, Shalita Besiat Adishmaya, and uh, and he speaks from Shara Gilgulim Besiat Adishmaya, and for, uh, from the Ohev Israel Arak Meapta Alav Shlom Sotot Aganenu, and the Maor Enayim Besiat Adishmaya, and we'll go through it together. Bezrat Hashem. So it says over there like this that ki ba'kdamat introduction 15 from Shara Gilgulim the Arizal says and Rabbi Chaim says in the name of Arizal this ki al yedei chet'o shel adam harishon when the first human being sinned naflu kol haneshamot letoch imkei klipot all of the souls fell into the impurity which means they fell into 
the spiritual impurity, which is the evil inclination. Now, זה לומד זה עשה אלוקים. הקדוש ברוך הוא, it's King Solomon says, that parallel to the purity, to the holiness, Hashem created unholiness. So there's a, think about a human being, Adam Rishon, Adam, was all holiness. And next to him was Ben Blial, which means the, a man that was all wickedness. His livelihood was the livelihood that Hashem gave him, but he didn't have any touch in the, in the souls that were in the first human being. Once the first human being, Adam and Eve, ate from the tree of knowledge, then the souls that were included, the, the souls of the Israelites that were included inside the first human being, Adam, fell from him and were covered with impurity, with spiritual impurity in the, the Adam Blial, a, a wicked man. So there's a holy man and a wicked man, which is the evil inclination. So it became part of him. Like, like the Adam had, like uh, the Kedusha, the holiness has head, body, and legs. Also, the unholiness has head, body, and legs. We spoke a little bit about this from Bnei Sachar uh, um, on, uh, on uh, the articles of the month of Adar. So the same thing it has. And Amalek comes from uh, uh, the three counts, the head of the unholiness which is wisdom, understanding, and knowing on the, from the other side. So it's divided. So once the first, the Adam was sinned, the souls, because he was, all of the souls, were, he was included with all of the souls of the children of Israel, fell into the impurity, the, in, the spiritual impurity. So we see that, uh, what did, so what did um, Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov do? So we know the Zohar Kodesh says there are only three forefathers, Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. And they came in order to, to do the fixing of the first human being, of Adam. So because he sinned with three sins, that it says that Yaharek v'bal Yavor, that you should die and not do it, which is worshipping other gods. The second one is having intimate relationship that is forbidden. And the third one is killing so, and why? Because once you listen to the evil inclination, it's worshipping other gods. Every time we don't listen to Hashem and we listen to the evil inclination, it's like worshipping other gods, because there's either the truth or the lie. Either we listen to Hashem or Chas Shalom, we listen to the other side. So, we see over here that this is Avodah Zarah, worshipping other gods. Then, intimate relationship that is forbidden, because he came on his wife and he should have waited until she, until she would have purified herself and the third one is and because of this kind also came because he he put an uh, a body over over this impurity so and then killing he brought death to the world so all of these three things were fixed by the three forefathers which is avraham avinu fixed worshiping other gods this is a beautiful thing. He says like this, Arizal. He says, "Uvayit be'eratam akdamat etvav, uvayit be'eratam lama metzinu heyot tzadikim gedolim bnei reshaim gemurim." Why do we see very righteous people that are the sons or daughters of very wicked people? For example, we see that Avraham Avinu is the son of Terach, and Terach was a high priest of worshipping other gods, and not only that, he had also a factory and a store of other gods to sell to other people. So Avraham Avinu fixed what his father did. He fixed this, and he was the, Avraham Avinu was the son of Terach. He was the a, a son of, a, of a, a, an idol, a, a priest of idol worshipping. So we see over here, that Abraham Avinu fixed a, a worshiping other gods, and then yet yeah, Yitzchak Avinu that was willing to, to be a sacrificed on the altar fixed the the killing, the part of the, that he brought death to the world because he was willing to be a sacrifice. And then we see Yaakov Avinu that he ha, that that all of his children were righteous. This was fixing intimate relationship that was forbidden. And we know that Rachel, Veleah, and Amrivka, all of them the daughters of wicked people. 
So Rivka was the daughter of Betuel, uh, Rachel Bela the daughters of Lavan. So we see over here, it, it says, and we'll understand it when we continue Be'ezrat Hashem. So he says, why is this? Because he says that the spiritual impurity is seeking for livelihood. And how do they get livelihood? From the souls, all of the souls that went out of Adam, and the souls went out of Adam by the part also that they took in the sin of, of Adam. So some of the souls went to the head, some of the souls went to the body, and some of the souls went to the legs. The last generation, which is us, we are the generation of Mashiach. We are from this, we are, we are called the Kvata de Mashiach, the heel of Mashiach, which means we are now in the heel of, of the wicked uh, human being. And Besiyat Adishma, once we do the fixing and we are all, and all of the souls will go out of there and go back to the heel, to the legs of uh, Adam, Besiyat Adishma, then Mashiach will be revealed. But let's continue over here. And it says, Once the holiness is inside them, they have livelihood. Because if there's no holiness, there's no unholiness. Yes, kdusha, yes, kdusha. But if there's no holiness, there's no unholiness. When there's no holiness in them, they die. They don't have any livelihood. So, that's why the, the unholiness, which means the evil inclination, runs after the holiness. And cause human beings to sin and not to listen to Hashem. Because once a, a, a person sins, then he goes into their domain. And then they have livelihood from, his, from him because he did a mitzvah. After that he sinned, they can take the mitzvah and they have livelihood from this. And this is their livelihood. So Hashem, in His Holiness, didn't want to lose the neshamot. And this is what's written in continuation in Shara Gilgulim. And when the temple was ruined, the divine presence was uh, among the, um, in exile, among the uh, spiritual impurity. Because the souls do not have strength to go out of the spiritual impurity. Because the evil inclination is from fire. So only fire can deal with fire, which is Hashem. So only Hashem, Divine Presence, can help us to get out of there. So it, it, that's why it's written in Chumash Dvarim, Ki Hashem elokecha es because Hashem is fire. Hashem, your God, is fire. Nichneset benehem, the Divine Presence goes into the spiritual impurity. In order to gather the, the souls that are inside the in spiritual domain, to gather them, to separate them, and takes them to a holy place. Which means, how does Hashem does it? Give us thoughts of tshuva, thoughts of coming close to Hashem. This is only from Hashem. When we do tshuva, it's only from Hashem. Even if we are observant or not observant, if we're not observant, we, get, we, we suddenly want to do the will of Hashem. We suddenly want to be close to Hashem, to fulfill His will, to do His commandments. And even when we are observant, we say, oh, Hashem, we, we sinned. We need to do this. We need to be kinder. We need to be uh, less judgmental. We need to find the merit of the children of Israel. Fix our character traits, and this everybody has to do. Us, the nations, everyone, the siyata dishma. So it separates them, and then mechatsham, and you renews them. Umoridam ba'olam azeh begofot anashim. So he takes these souls. Look how beautiful the divine presence takes them out of the domain of the uh, the spiritual impurity, and renews them. And then they are in the body in that in, is in heaven. Um, it's written, Besiyat Adishmaya, Bemasechet Nida, 
page 13, עמוד ב', it's written, אין בן דוד בא עד שיקלו הנשמות מן הגוף. That, that משיח, בן דוד, the son of David, משיח, will come when all of the souls from the body will be here to, do, to finish the fixing. So, what does it mean when the children of Israel get married and bring children over here, bring the souls into this world, Bezat Hashem, to do the things in order that they will start? Why? Because the souls, after, after the divine uh, presence takes them out of the domain of the spiritual impurity and puts them and renews them and puts them in, in the... In the place that is called Guf in heaven, Besiat Adishma, when we get married, the children of Israel, and with a, a holiness, we bring a child to this world, then what happens is this child, we teach him to study Torah and to follow the commandments. This, we do the fixing and the souls go out from the, the spiritual impurity into purity, into the, and into Adam. The first mamash, we are completing the koma, which means the height of, of uh, the human being, which is Adam. As umechatshamu moridam ba'olam azeh begufot ha'anashim by having children. This is how it's important to get married, al pidat Moshe v'Yisrael, by the Torah, and then besiyat ha'dishmaya to bring children with the holy thoughts besiyat ha'dishmaya. to purify ourselves in order to bring the, the souls into this world, to do the fixing in order that Mashiach will be here. So he says, This is the secret of the exile of the Shekhinah. The Shekhinah had to go. The Shekhinah, is the, the Shekhinah includes all of the souls of the children of Israel. So that the power of Hashem had to go to exile in order to take from the spiritual impurity domain the, because of the sin of the first human being, of Adam, to take them out, all of the souls, to take them out. So we are the last part, Ekev, the heel of Ikvata de Mashiach, the heel, the souls that are in the heel, that are inside the the domain of, of uh, impurity, we are the, the souls that are going to finish the fixing. Why? Even though we know that all of our sages, they were more, uh, they were more spiritual and, and more holy than we are, but dear ladies, the whole body stands on the legs. And especially at the feet, you know, the, the last part of the leg. And we are, we are holding the whole body. The whole fixing depends on, on this generation and the generation of Mashiach. Like we said, there's Rosh, there's a head, there's body, and we are Netzach Hod We are the ones that are doing the fixing of the legs. And the whole bad body stands on this fixing. So it says over here, And from the day that the temple was ruined, this is the work of Hashem. Until Hashem will finish and gather all of the souls that fell into the spiritual impurity of the human, that the wicked uh, human being. And they went... And they are in his head, his body, and his legs. But meanwhile, all of the part of the soul that were in the head already uh, are in the holy place. And all the part of the body, the souls that fell into the body of the wicked human being is already in the holiness. Only we are left. The ones that are the heel of Mashiach, the ones that are in his legs, the heel. ועד שיגמור ללקט אפילו אותם שנפלו עד הרגליים, until Hashem will finish to gather all of the souls, holy souls that are in the domain of the spiritual impurity, only then בסייעתא דשמיא, the Mashiach will be revealed. ואין ישראל נגאלים עד, the children of Israel cannot be, uh, uh, have a geula, a salvation, until all of the souls which we are the souls, will come back to purity, Besiyat HaDishmeh. And that's why it's written in the Prophet Zechariah, chapter 14, verse 4, And at that day, his legs are going to stand on the mountain of olive. That's the 
revealing Besiata Dishmaya, Hashem Besiata Dishmaya, and, and the salvation of the children of Israel and the whole world. And it says over here, Ve'ilu kol Yisrael, oh, before that, Ve'omna menashchina melaketa totam, Ela ledei maaseh atachtonim betfilotem. So how does the Divine Presence has the power also to do it? Who helps her? Because if there's awakening in this world, there's awakening in heaven. And vice versa. So Besiyat HaDishmaya, it's written in Tehillim 68, Nu oz le'elokim. Which means we should give power to Hashem. How? By awakening in this world, by our prayers, by our following the commandments, doing good deeds, Bezat Hashem, uh, being good advocates for the children of Israel. So by our actions, everyday actions, our davening, our tehillim, our perek shira, shacharit, mincha ve'arvit, everything that we do, besiyat adishma, that tzedakah that we do, charity that we do, bikur cholim, visiting the sick people, everything, following the commandments, keeping Shabbat, everything that we do by this, the amount of the souls go out of the hill from the wicked uh, human being. Ve'ilu kol Yisrael ayu shavim b'tshuva gmura, and if all of the children of Israel would repent from the from the bottom of their hearts, hayak koach b'shchinatoy barach, there would be power to the divine presence. Lo tziet kol aneshamot misham b'regecha to take out all of the souls in one in one split of a second. אבל חטאינו מתישים את כוחה, but our sins that we don't follow the way of Hashem, this weakens the power. What does it mean it weakens the power? It means that we give more, once we sin, we give a mouth to, to Satan, to the evil inclination. But if we do the will of Hashem, there's no mouth to the evil inclination. When we slander, when we... When, uh, when we uh, gossip, when we say lies, all of this gives a mouth to the evil inclination to be a prosecutor against the children of Israel. The evil inclination doesn't bother with the nations. He bothers with the children of Israel. So this is what you see, Pesiat Adishmaya. So it says, that's why it's written in, in, in chapter, in Tehiyam, in Chumash Dvarim, chapter 32, it's read, Tzuri al Dechatashi, we weaken the, the power, Bemerchaot, we weaken the power by making us um, prosecute us by our own deeds. So, Vekasher Yichalu Aneshamot Letzet Misham, which means when all of the souls will go out of, of the legs of the wicked human being, as, which means from the evil inclination that has an image also like a human being, as gam shechinatoi barach tetzei misham, then also the divine presence will go out of there because it's now in exile in order to take all of the sparks of holiness from the image of the evil inclination. So they don't have any more, any livelihood. And then they will die. And all of this like a smoke will go away. And this is the secret of the Pasuk from Ishayahu, chapter 25, verse 8, Bila Mavet Lanetzach, that there won't be death anymore. Can you imagine? Because all of the purpose of creating this world was to put a soul from heaven into a body from earth and to have a combination of both of them and that the human being will live forever and do the will of Hashem in order to know Hashem. And to come closer and closer to Hashem, B'siyat HaDishma. This is the purpose. And then it says, Kibiyot HaShchina mitochem muchrachu shikablu mazon veshefa chayud. Because the divine presence are in them, they receive livelihood. How do the nations receive livelihoods? You know, it's written that by the number of the children of Israel in, in uh, different various countries all over the world, this is how the, the borders are determined, which means the more children of Israel there are in that country and they pray to Hashem, they bring livelihood, they bestow the livelihood upon that nation, and the borders of our, that nation are bigger. Okay? This is by the schut of the children of Israel. By the... the 
by the size of, of the soul, can godel erech ha-shefa nishpach eleha. This is also anemshach eleha, which means by the soul, if it's a big soul, by holiness, it's a very holy soul, so more light of eternity comes into the soul. So the more the soul is holy, because like, I, like we said at the beginning, Arizal says that the souls went out of the body, the pure body of the Adam, and went into the image of the evil inclination, but they don't want it to go out of them. So what happens? So sometimes they're so afraid that a righteous person will do a big mitzvah, and by the mitzvah that this righteous person will do, he will have the strength to take the, the spark of holiness, this a soul, big soul that is among them, this righteous soul that is among them, and he will, it will come into his sperm when he, was, when he is with his wife, with holiness. So but when they see... When they see that this can happen, they go to Hashem and there's a prosecution. And they ask from Hashem, and when you see, they see a wicked person that, uh, that uh, did a lot of sins, a wicked, an evil person, so they go and prosecute that holy soul that is among them. Why? Because they want Hashem to put this holy soul in the sperm of that wicked person. Like Abraham Avinu in Terach. So he is the son of Terach. And why? Because they say that Terach, I'm just giving you an example so we can understand together this. They say that Terach is wicked and he's a high priest of worshipping other gods. So Abraham Avinu that will be born, he's a high soul that will be born to Terach, he will also be, become wicked because this is his father. He will learn, we learn by example, he will learn from his father. So what do they do? In order that this soul will be, will be ruined by the source that brought her to this world. And will, will sin. And then it will come to them more damaged and they have more livelihood. And then they won't free this soul. And this is what HaKadosh Baruch Hu does. That Hashem, have thoughts that no soul will be banished from Him. That there will be a fixing to all the souls. And especially this soul that is holy and, with a, and, and very righteous. So what does He do, Hashem? Okay, He listens to the prosecutors and he puts the soul in a person that is wicked in the sperm of the person that is wicked and they think okay now they can't they don't prosecute because everything is good because this wicked person will be give a, 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 there will be a birth of, of a holy person from this wicked person this holy person will learn from this from his father that is wicked and this soul will be damaged but this is not what Hashem does look how beautiful it is now that they freed the soul from the image of the evil inclination, this soul was freed. He says this, HaKadosh Baruch Hu Ozer Ota. Hashem helps this soul. Vehi mitnaeret. And he takes off all of, of, of the, the unpure things that are on her, all this energy that is not pure from her and all of the sins and everything he takes her out of this and helps that person to do tshuva and, and that all of his uh, that he all of his actions will be in the will of Hashem like a, a precious stone like a diamond that uh, that shows his light in front of everyone look at Rabbi Meir Balanes look at Ruth Amaviyah Mamash Hashem, look at Yehuda. Yehuda that went in order to, to take Vayered Yehuda. Yehuda went and after his wife passed away and his two children passed away, remember he gave Naomi 
a two of his sons and they passed away and then he didn't give her his third son and when he went in order to cut the wool of the sheep he came she was over there she uh, disguised herself she and she put her scarf on her he didn't know who she is and he was with her in order to bring the soul of Mashiach look how Hashem works so the evil inclination with all of the image, all of the command, all of the height, like a human being, but this is an evil human being, and this is a, a holy human being, a one parallel to the other. He thinks, okay, if by this way it came to this world, it will be a damaged soul. It will sin and it will be damaged, but not Hashem. Hashem says, okay, I took it out from them. Now the soul is here because that no soul will be banished from him, and now he wakens the soul to do tshuva, to know Hashem Bezrat Hashem. And by this, this soul brings other people with her and takes more sparks of holiness than the evil inclination at the end of these fields, it's the, it's the end, because it sees how many people, how so many Baruch Hashem, Ben Porat Yosef, so, so many souls, Jewish souls, repent to Hashem and cling to Hashem. So it gets very nervous. He, know, he knows it's the end. So he takes out all of his soldiers in order that they will, that, that they will cause the children of Israel to sin, chas v'shalom. And he does this also among the nations. So we, you see over here that Mamash Hashem fixes Velo dai, and not only, furthermore, not only this, ki shamanit kenet, this soul. Fixes, Hashem fixes her. Also, the father that gave birth to him repents and does tshuva. Just like Iov. You remember the story of Iov? Iov was the reincarnation of Terach, the father of Abraham Avinu. Can you imagine? Asher Shabbi Chubalid, and he and he did a fixing by his son because of his son Abraham Avinu. He got the merit to do a fixing by being a reincarnation in Eo. This is how a Kadosh Baruch Hu Dishmaya takes the holy souls, Bezrat Hashem, out of the impure, the spiritual impure image. He takes them out. This by doing tshuva, and if we will all have done tshuva, all of the children of Israel immediately, Mashiach was here because all of the sparks of holiness would go out of the evil inclination, and then Bila Mavit Lanetzach, there's no existence anymore to the evil inclination. All of the sourness of the evil inclination will go away. So, Besiat Adishmai, we see that Ein Ben David Ba Adshi Kol Aneshamot Shebaguf, which means until all of the souls that in the place that is called goof in heaven will come to this world and this is only by having the children uh, getting married having children righteous children davening to hashem going to the mikveh and thinking of hashem and asking from hashem that bezrat hashem that the soul that will come to us will be pure and holy bezrat hashem and worship hashem and that's why it's written a uh, let me continue. Okay, and it's and it we continue in Akdama Chaf Gimel in um, introduction twenty three in Shara Gilgulim of the Arizal that Rabbi Chaim Vital wrote. Da ki kol aneshamot kulam hayu klolim baAdam Rishon. All of the souls were included were included in Adam. Kodem shechata before he sin. And it says, V'kasher chatayin, and after he sinned, and all of the souls that were in all parts of his body went and fell down into the in, in spirit, um, spiritual impurity. Lo nishar bo ba'adam arishon, ela b'chinat mea mea. Which means but that nothing, that what stayed in him was all also, uh, was only his soul. Aneshama shelo, mea mea, mea amasticha. His soul. local and Shabbat, and we know that all of the souls are not equal in the spiritual level. So all of them went into the spiritual impurity image. Each one of them parallel to what he was in the in Adam. 
And we are the Ikvata de Mashiach. We are the heel of Mashiach, which means we complete the image. So all of these souls have to go out from the legs of the spiritual impurity, of the image of the spiritual impurity, into the image of purity, which is Mashiach. So we know by this that Arizal says that in, in Sefer Alikutim, so Adam, Adam is the initials of Aleph is Adam, Dalet is David, and Mem is Mashiach, which is a cycle, because Adam, Adam was the one that brought death to the world. And when I show, Hashem showed him all of the generations, he saw King David, and when he saw him, he saw Lo'alenu that he is going to live only three hours, like the three hours that Adam did not wait. Hashem told him to wait three hours, and then he could have been intimate with his wife. But he didn't wait the three hours. So after three hours, King David was supposed to, to die, to be Nephil. So Adam gave him 70 years, 70 years from his, uh, and look how beautiful, where does the 70 years came, come? So we know that King David says, So in general, our life is 70 years, and, and if we're righteous, 80 years or more. So it's the bell. Statistically, most of the people live 70 years. A, a few live less than that, and a, and a few live more than that, but most of the people live 70 years. So where does 70 come from? So Adam, Aleph, Dalet, Mem, in Hebrew, Adam, Aleph, Dalet, Mem. Dalet, we know, is four. Mem is 40. Together, it's 44. But Aleph, Aleph is the combination of Raham, Yitzchak, Ve'akov, because Aleph is combined from Vav and two Yudim. And Yud is 10. Another Yud is 10. Together, it's 20. Vav is 6. It's 26. 26 plus 44, Dam, the Siyat Adishmaya, 44 together it's 70. So Adam gave 70 years from his life to K K King David. So King David lived 70 years, Besiat Adishman, all the generations of King David will be kings over the children of Israel because this is from the tribe of Judah, Judea, and this is the promise of Hashem. So this is forever. And the, the end of the fixing is Mashiach. And Mashiach Besiat Adishma, when all of the souls from the the image of the evil uh, of the evil inclination, all of the souls will go back to Adam, which is Mashiach. This will be Mashiach because all of the souls will go back to Adam, which is Mashiach, because Adam and Mashiach. When Mashiach comes, there's no death anymore, like it was supposed to be in the beginning that all of humanity will live forever. And also about this, there's a, what, what does it mean forever, Besiyat Adishme? So, and, and what elevation will, um, how will the world be elevated to a spiritual world when we come to the 6,000, Besiyat Hashem? So we see in Besef Alikutim, it's written about Adam, ki, uh, the, uh, the Adam is the um, initials of Adam, David and Mashiach, which is completing the fixing after the sin of the first, of Adam, of the first human being. And it says, in the name of, of Abal Shem Tov, it says, Besiyat Adishmaya, Bamaor Enayim, Maor Enayim, Parashat Pinchas, it says over there, Kema Amar Abal Shem Tov, in the name of the Baal Shem Tov, Shetzarich Kol Adam Mi Yisrael, Shetzarich Kol Echad Mi Yisrael, that each person from the children of Israel, letaken ulachin chelek komat Mashiach Hashach Lenishmato, that each and every one of us should fix and, and uh, the part of a Mashiach that is in his soul. Each and every one of us should ask from Hashem, because we come in different bodies. We are a spark of one soul. And we come in different bodies, and, and all of us are spark of one soul, but each and every one of us does the fixing parallel to where he came from, for the, from the first human being. So, Abal Shem Tov says, we need to complete the fixing of Adam, Komat Mashiach, which is Mashiach, by the part that belongs to our soul that we, when, we, when we were inside Adam Arishon, Adam. That's what we spoke before that, that because Adam is the initials of Adam, a Mashiach, a Adam, David, and Mashiach. 
שקומתו של האדם הראשון, מסוף העולם ועד סופו היה. That the height, the image of the first human being was from the beginning of the world to the end of the world, because it was including all of the souls, שהיו כלולים בקומת האדם הראשון, all of the... כל נשמות ישראל, all of the souls of the children of Israel were in Adam. ואחר כך על ידי החטא נטמעתה קומתו, after the sin, he became, it's like Hashem shortened him, but it means that the souls went out of him. וכמו כן, יהיה משיח קומה שלמה, and by this משיח, after the fixing of bringing back all of the souls, משיח is going to be a whole height בעזרת Hashem, a whole image. בסייעתא דשמיא, מכל נשמות ישראל, from all of the souls of the children of Israel, which is 60,060 ריבו. כמו שהיו קודם אחרי, just like it was before, previous, the sin of Adam. על כן צריך כל אחד מישראל להכין חלק מבחינת משיח השייך לחלק נשמתו. So each and every one of us should, בעזרת השם, do the fixings The fixing that we will do, Be'ezrat Hashem, the part that is inside us, that belongs, that, that is part of, of Mashiach. K'day shitukan v'tekonen kol ha'koma, in order that all of the holy image will be fixed, which means that there won't be any holy soul sparks of holy souls inside the image of the spiritual impurity, which is the evil inclination. And this... This is, why, this is why we are called, the, the generation before Mashiach is called Ikvata de Mashiach because we are in the legs of, of the spiritual impurity. <coughs> And Ishayahu says in chapter 52, verse 7, So dear ladies, Vesiyata Dishmaya, Man Avu Al Arim, On the mountains, Raglei Mevaser, the legs of, of, the, of the Mevaser, of the announcer that is going to announce Mashmiya Shalom, to announce peace, Mevaser Tov, to announce good, Mashmiya Yeshua, to announce salvation, Omar Lezion Malach Elokaich, that he tells Zion that Hashem, Besiyat Adishmaya, is the king, Hashem, your God, is the king. Bezrat Hashem, the king of the, which means the kingdom of Hashem is going to be over the whole world. The kingdom of Hashem is, is, is now also, also before the sin, during the sin, and after the sin. But the problem is that humanity needs to know, to come to a knowing in our hearts, that we are the ones, that, that we should know that Hashem rules over everything. Hashem is everything and everything is Hashem. God is everything and everything is God. We as humanity, Zayichud, this is the clinging, this is being united with God. But by knowing, where do we know with our hearts? It's not enough to know with our mouth. But with our hearts, Besiyat Adishmael. So by this, the Arat Me'apta says of Israel that also it, every individual needs to light himself from the head To, to, the, to the heels. Which, which means you should put a, a king up upon yourself. What does it mean to put a king upon yourself? It means that we need, that you remember we spoke that the soul has five parts, main five, five, five parts. Two are under the throne of Hashem and the Neshama is mainly in the head. It's all over the body but mainly in the head. And the lower part of the Neshama is in the heart which is called Ruach. And the lowest part of the Neshama is in the Nefesh. It's in the blood. The Nefesh is in the blood, it's in the liver. So we see that Mazot Omer Tzom Tassim Alecha Melech. Melech, a king. So you should put upon yourself a king. This means The mem of the melech, king in Hebrew is melech, it starts with a mem, moach, mem is parallel to moach, moach, a, a, a mind, the, our mind starts in Hebrew, moach, it starts with a mem, and lev, where the, and, and the moach and the, the mind has, in, inside the mind is the, the, the part of the soul that is called neshama, but it, it is inside the moach, and the moach, the brain, the mind, it starts with a mem, And then we have Ruach, 
is inside the lev, it starts with a lamed, and then we have the nefesh, the lowest part, which is inside the kaved, which starts with a chaf. Lamed, so we have mem for moach, which is the mind, lamed for lev, which is the heart, and kaved, which is the liver, where the, where the nefesh is inside, it starts with a chaf. We have mem, lamed, vechaf, together it's melech, it's a king. So once the, uh, the mind, which where the soul is, the highest part of the soul in, uh, that is over our body, when it controls the heart and the nefesh, and the nefesh is the lowest part of the soul that is in the, uh, that is in the blood, in the liver, then we become a king. And then we are a vessel of Hashem because the soul wants only to listen to Hashem. The part that is uh, the uh, nefesh that is inside the blood wants, it, wants all of the uh, um, pleasures of this world. And the heart is where the battery is, the plus and minus, where the decision is. But if all the body, all the parts of the soul, all the body listens to the neshama that is in the soul to do the will of Hashem with happiness and with gratefulness, then we are, we are then, besiyat adishmai, we're considered a king. And then what happens? And then, bezrat Hashem, the, the light, the eternal light of Hashem, we become a vessel to the eternal light of Hashem and we do fixing from head to toe, from head to heel, and all of the light of Hashem comes into us, and by this we take sparks of holiness, souls that are still captured in the, inside the evil inclination, the image of the evil inclination that are in her legs, because already from the head and from the body everything went out, it's already in holiness. What's left is only the, the feet. It's only the feet. So when we do that, then we take holy souls out and then it goes up and Hashem renews them and they come back to this world as babies, as uh, uh, the, the souls go into the sperm of the man and when he's intimate with his wife, Bezrat Hashem, they come back to this world in order to do the fixing to, and by this they're cleansing themselves. And by this, the soul goes back into the image of Adam, which is David and Mashiach. And by uh, and with doing this, Bezrat Hashem, we are doing the fixing and bringing Mashiach closer. So we see that we are the the lowest souls because we are in the legs of the spiritual impurity of the image of the evil inclination, but. It says in Shara Gilgulim, a beautiful thing. It says in Shara Gilgulim, by the Arizal, the Rabbi Chaim Vital writes by the Arizal, um, uh, introduction 38, it says over there like this. Once Rabbi Chaim Vital asks, Allah V'shom Zchotot Aganel, asks his uh, uh, rabbi, which is Ari Zal, he asked him like this. Pa'am achat sh'alti lemori, zecher tzadik livracha, ech haya omer li sh'nafshi eta kol kach mu'ula, how could he tell me that my soul is, is so high, it, it, it's so uh, spiritual, it it's comes from a very uh, high level. He says, He says, okay, but I'm looking at the first generations that came from the head and the generations that came from the body. And he says, Rabbi Chaim Vital, I'm looking at their actions and their deeds and everything they did. I don't even come to their legs. Even to their heel, I don't come. And Arisal told him, No, that the, that the, Okay, I have to find, I'm translating all the time while I'm speaking to you, so sometimes the words um, slip us, run away from my mind. But the, the height or the, the height of the soul does not depend on the action of the human being. Only by the generation and that time. Listen very carefully, dear ladies, we are in this generation, the generation of Ikvata de Mashiach, of the heel of Mashiach. So he says, Ki ma'ase katan mo'od badoraze, a small action 
our small deed of kindness, a small deed of, of, of uh, following the commandments, Maase Katan Maot Badorase, is parallel, Shakul Kekama Mitzvot Dolot Shebadorot Acherim. It's parallel to a, a whole bunch of good deeds in, other, in the previous generations. Ki Badorot Eilu, because in this generation, the generation of Mashiach, Haklipa Goveret Maot Maot Len Ketz. The spiritual impurity harshens and becomes uh, uh, and, and uh, takes all of its power out. And the first generation, they didn't do that. The, the spiritual impurity didn't do it because it had a lot of, of souls inside, in the head, in the body. Now all of the head and the body, all of the souls already are in purity, in holiness. The only souls that are in is us, Ikvata de Mashiach, the heel, the legs, the legs that are that still has souls uh, uh, captured inside, in the legs of the spiritual, the image of the spiritual impurity. So it says that's why now, and we can see it that evil is all over. That's that's what it means when the Hasidim say, when the Pal Shem Tov said. And, and it says also in the Zohar HaKadosh V'siyat HaDishma'ya that now we see that all of the internal part of the world is fixed. What is not fixed is the external part of the world. That's the end. It's the souls that are still, that is left, still uh, captured in the legs of the image of the spiritual impurity, in the evil inclination. ואילו הייתי בדורות הראשונים, he says, the Arizal told the Rabbi Chaim Vital, שחודם תגנה לנו, that if you were in the first generations, בעזרת השם, one of the previous generations, היו מעשי וחוכמתי נפלאים מכמה צדיקים הראשונים, that he will be, because he's a big soul that came to this world, that he, all of his action will be more powerful and more bigger even than the, some of the previous uh, righteous people that were in a previous generation. That's why, the, dear ladies, v'siyata dishmaya, we can see that Hashem says, v'haya ekev tishmun, Hashem has pleasure from this generation when we follow His commandments, when we do good deeds, when we give good words to each other, Bezrat Hashem, when we forgive each other, Besiat Adishmaya, Hashem has pleasure because He knows how it's hard in this generation. He sees that every, the good is considered bad and bad is considered good. So He sees everything is black is white and white is black. He sees all everything is flipped. All of all of the um, all of the musagim. Everything, all of the, the, the things that are considered good are considered not good, and all of the things that are considered not good are considered good this, in this generation, because the power of the evil inclination now is because it, it feels that it's losing its livelihood. Because once all of the souls will go back to the holy image, then there's no livelihood anymore to the evil inclination. The Aristotle says that. It says, Be, שאר הגלגולים הקדמת את וב, it says like the word, שבכל יום, every day, we are separating sparks of holiness by our prayers, by the prayers of the children of Israel, and by following the commandments, and they feel that they are missing from their livelihood. They get very stressed from this, because their livelihood is missing. And by, that's why they have to capture everyone. That's why they, they take all of the soldiers now in this generation. And that's why the Arizal said, in this generation, we need to study the Zohar Kadosh in order, Be'ezrat Hashem, to enlighten the, the, the world and in, in order that the souls, the, the sparks of the souls that are still inside the, uh, the image of the uh, spiritual impurity will be awakened and Hashem will have, will take them out, Bezat Hashem, and bring them back to the, uh, uh, to the image that is holy, to, the, to Adam, which is the King David, which is Mashiach, Bezat Hashem, at the end of times. So I would like to bless all of us that we will have the schut to do the fixing. And now, no, Vehaya means, uh, and this, this shall means that Hashem is happy with every good deed that we do in this world. May Hashem give us the strength.
to do the fixing and to see Mashiach Tzitkenu and greet Mashiach Tzitkenu b'mera b'yameinu amen Eliyahu Nabi Zecharu Latov, le'olam yiperid adam mechadoro b'dvar alacha, yachid ve'rabim alacha k'rabim.